man this place is like foragers paradise there it is forageable plants everywhere this is awesome bigfoot's gonna eat good tonight all right guys found another cool plant here and that's this one this is a mullein plant right here and uh, i'm gonna pick some of these these make a really good uh lung medicine and uh, you can eat them but uh I use them more for medicine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick probably a handful or two of these, maybe more, and uh, take home with me, and I'll show you how to make medicine with it. Here's some yarrow. We get that right here, and with yarrow, I'll just pick a whole stem and I'll hang it upside down to dry. Wow, this is amazing! Look at all the mullein. It's everywhere. This has got a nice one. All right, we'll see if we can catch a few more of those. That one's almost the size of a steelhead. Getting a bite. There he is. number four all right well the trout fishing has been awesome today we got look, look at those beauties those are nice 17 18 20 inches long it's a good fish all right grandpa rick's got one Looks like a nice one too. Yeah. There we go. Nice trout. Oh. Got him. Look at that one. Woohoo! Look at that fish. That's a beauty there. Well, today's been an awesome day fishing. We're just about limited out. We need one more. Oh, I got him. I got him, Rick. <laughs> oh, I had one. I lost him. We're done fishing. I'm gonna pick a whole bunch of this miner's lettuce to take home and cook with the fish. It's kind of like spinach. And I saw some dandelions over here. And me and Rick were walking in, so I'm gonna pick some dandelion leaves too. I'm gonna dig up this dandelion also and dry it and we'll make some dandelion coffee.
All right, guys. Well, here we go. Let's take a look down into our bag and see what we've got. Went to the grocery store, and I look at all that. All right. Well, we're headed home, so we'll see you in the kitchen. Hey, well, we're back home, and uh, check out everything we found today. Uh, it was an awesome day foraging and fishing today. Look at that. woo -hoo! Right here, we've got some miner's lettuce. This is going to go in with my fish and some dandelions also. And then um, I gathered up for later some yarrow that I'll dry and some mullein. And then for in the morning, I, I uh, harvested some dandelion roots to make coffee with. And then we've got 10 beautiful fish here. Look at these things. Some nice trout there. Even stabbed one. All right. Well, we're going to get uh, cleaning these fish and uh, and then uh, we'll eat them and tell you how yummy they are. I'm going to do this because <clears throat> I'm gutting this fish this way this time because this fish is going to be for my wife and my father-in-law. And I, I will put the head in my soup. There's my, that's for my soup. And I'll put all my stuff in this pan. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use the heads and I'm gonna have fish head soup tonight. And uh, there's enough heads in here to do that with. And uh, I'll have that with my greens. And then I'll smoke the rest, and uh, that'll give me food to eat for the rest, uh, for, well, for a few days anyway. All right. Now I'm going to show you a really cool way to fillet fish that I learned in Alaska. It's called a butterfly fillet. This is how you butterfly fillet uh, a fish. And I'm going to do this because I plan on smoking um, smoking these. So what you do is you want to start up here on top of the head and you know, right on the spine and just work your way right down the spine all the way to the tail And you can go ahead and cut right here behind the head. And you're just going to run your knife right down along the bones. All the way down. Until you get to the belly meat. And this, when you flay fish this way, you don't waste any of the belly meat, which has all the good fats in it. And we won't wait to waste the carcass either, because that's going to go in the soup. Then you want to flip it over, do the same thing. Cut right down the spine. Then you can come underneath the by the head here. Cut that. Cut the bloodline out and the pooper. And then I just take it right back here and I'll just slice up this side because I already cut the meat off the, end, the other side. Like that. And then I'll slice 
up this side, like so, and then finish it off right there. Then you, then you have a butterfly fillet and a nice fillet of salmon. I learned that in Alaska from a good friend named Abigail Murphy and her dad, Dikagyu, or Daniel Stevens. All right, we're gonna make my fish soup. I'm gonna have some miner's lettuce and dandelions in my soup also. That's gonna be good. So the first thing I gotta do is put some water in my pot. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm gonna put about a half a gallon of water in there. Might add more later. Now, I'm gonna put in all my carcasses and I saved one small fish and put it in there so I had more meat. And cause I, need, I need all of the calories and protein I can get before I start the work week. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff in here. All these nice big, nice big fish carcasses and heads on them. Now give me lots of omega-3 and uh, some nice fat. And then once that, I'll let that cook down a little bit and probably the last couple minutes uh, of it cooking, I'll go ahead and throw in my dandelions and my miner's lettuce. Then we'll let it cook for a little, little bit. Oh, I'm also going to put some more of that cattail pollen in there. Um, that was quite nice uh, when I put that in there last night. So. All right, well, it's been a great day, and uh, we'll check this out when it's done. Well, I'm gonna, um, while we're waiting for the fish to cook, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these dandelion roots. We're gonna wash them off first, for starters. So I'll give them a rinse. All right, so we got our dandelions rinsed, and uh, these da our dandelion roots, the dandelion roots are going to go right in this uh, little pie sheet or whatever it is, pie pan. <clears throat> and it's going to go in the oven. And I'm going to roast these. And then I'll grind them and uh, use them for coffee replacement. All right. Well our, well, our fish is just about done cooking. And so I'm going to turn it down. And uh, I've, I've rinsed our dandelion leaves and our min miner's lettuce. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, put that in our pot of carcasses. I'll show you, see if we can get the camera up there. There we go. Mm. That's a big pot of soup. I probably won't be able to finish all of it. So the good thing is I can have some for dinner and then I can eat some for breakfast in the morning along with uh, some smoke trout. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that here in a second. Alright, so I got my trout I'm going to smoke here, and uh, show you, if it was not um, fire season, then I would go ahead and I would build a, a bushcraft smoker, but we can't have fires outside and um, my neighbors would probably call the cops on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on here, and uh, you can see there's no seasonings on there. I'll just lay it right on that grill. And then I got a hole in here. And I'm gonna lay that kind of like this with its sides open. Like that. And uh, we'll put them in the smoker. And then I'm gonna take my, uh, my pan here for my chips. And I got some wood chips that have been soaking in water. So I'll get, go ahead and get a fairly decent sized pan of wood chips going here. <clears throat> and we'll put that right down in here. And uh, those will be done smoking in, I don't know, four to six hours. A lot faster than a bushcraft smoker, but, um, but that's all I can do right now. So um, that's what we're going to have to do until uh, wintertime. Wintertime, maybe uh, I'll, uh, I'll do some videos on cold smoking and um, smoking meats uh, in a bushcraft smoker. All right, well, let's go check on the soup. 
Hey guys, well we're back from our fishing trip and uh, we got the fish over there cooking. But while we were out, um, I picked a whole bunch of yarrow and mullen and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's a mullen leaf. Uh, they're really fuzzy leaves, make great toilet paper, but they also make really good medicine. And uh, those are good for like colds and bronchitis and uh, stuff like that. They're good for the uh, lungs, respiratory. You can smoke it or you can make a tea out of it. There's lots of things you could do with it. And then this, it's limp now because it was uh, hot today, but this is yarrow. And they're a fuzzy fern-like leaf. They get uh, white flowers on top, which would come out of this bud here. And uh, so these haven't quite um, got to the flower stage yet, but uh, they're still usable. So, and these are good for pain and uh, um, a few other things, spit poultice. Um, uh, anti-inflammatory but I'm gonna hang these up to dry and I'll show you what I'm gonna do so the other day when I made my cattail video I'm, I got a whole bunch of these um, off the cattails to make uh, to make cordage with so I'm gonna use that to tie these up and then we'll hang them up and uh, we'll come back probably uh, a few days after they've dried nicely and uh, we'll show you how to process it from there just going to take these by the bunches. No need to rinse these off. You can also make tincture with yarrow, but I'm going to dry these because I'm going to make yarrow tea. Take a piece of this cattail here and I'm just going to tie the bunch. Like so. And there we have, uh, we can hang that in a cool dark place uh, for it to dry. And we'll do the same thing with the mullen. All right, I'll tie up the rest of them. And then we're gonna hang these out to dry. And uh, we'll make some nice teas with them. All right, guys, well, our dandelion roots are roasted. And here's what they look like now. And I'll show you, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grind these up or crunch them up as good as I can. And that's gonna make a really nice coffee substitute in the morning um, for the next three weeks. This isn't three weeks worth, but um, this is an example. So I'll just put them in this little glass bowl here, right here. All right, so I'll just crunch them up. I'll use the bottom of this glass here, kind of like a mortar and pedestal. You know, there it is, right there, nice and ground. Um, and this is probably enough for one cup, but I'm going to harvest a whole bunch more so that way I can have a cup of this every morning. All right. Well, I think our fish is about done. Let's go check on it. All right. Let's have some of this soup. Let me show you it. That looks pretty good. We got our dandelions, our miners' lettuce in there. And I'm going to have myself a bowl of that. I'm excited. I'm hungry. And, uh, it's like a buffet tonight. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. Dandelion there. Hmm. Really nice. Mm. They really add a nice flavor to the soup, too. I, I don't really like filleting fish. I, I feel like a lot of stuff gets wasted, but if you are going to fillet the fish, you do this, it's not so bad. And the dandelion 
It's very similar to spinach. If you don't waste anything from the fish, you'll never be hungry. Oh man, miner's lettuce is really good in here. Got the fish head. It's one of my favorite parts of the whole fish. So tender. Lots of good stuff. That is what a fish head looks like after you eat it. Yum, fish head soup. That's that. All that's left is a pile of bones. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Well, I'll probably eat some more later. That was a lot. That was a big bowl of soup. So after that sits for a cup for an hour or two, I might have another bowl. I probably will. And then I'll have a bowl or two in the morning for breakfast before I go to work. This has been day eight of my 30 day catch, kill, forage series. And uh, so if you missed the other ones, you can watch them. Uh, they're on YouTube and um, they're on the playlist of uh, 30 day challenge, catch, kill, forage. And so, all right, well, we'll see you tomorrow on day nine. Feeling good still. All right, that's been Bigfoot. We'll catch you guys later.